Welcome to this video which I hope will explain better the particular kind of exercise that I want you to do for this assignment. I want you to go to a website called W and then the number three schools.com. I've got some crazy stuff happening on my computer. I apologize for that background music. It's called again W3Schools.com. This is a free website that allows students and instructors for that matter, anyone, to learn languages, to use the HTML and the new CSS Cascade Style Sheet code. And I want you to be comfortable with using this. You don't need to be, especially if you're one of those exact words, as I say sometimes, or nervous students, you need to be willing to experiment and especially if you're going to be a web design major you need to be willing to experiment and try new packages and new items outside of just the book exercises if you will choose the CSS area that's this bluish one top center hopefully you can see this on your screen when you click this you'll get a number of tutorials that will break down this particular concept of CSS for you individually I want you in this particular case to go to an area, just scroll down and you'll see something that says try it yourself. This is an example where you can look at some of the CSS code and click the button try it yourself and it will bring that code or these examples on the screen for you. You can use this one or you can go through many examples that are actually listed in the area called CSS examples. 200 examples here where it says try it yourself. You can click there. Any of these try it yourself items Will give you different kinds of codes and you can experiment with these. It's a really wonderful, a very helpful website in terms of learning the code behind a lot of these pages in your book. Here's an example right here where I can go in and look at this code where I'm using something called embedded style to change the background color of a page and what I like about this personally is instead of having to go to Notepad and save your file and then go into the internet and run it, you can actually look at them back and forth this way and see the result and the code side by side immediately. I think a lot of you will like this. And what I'm wanting to do in this particular exercise, I'll, I'll go with this one first. If I wanted to play with this code right here and I wanted to change the background, this is a hexadecimal code for a background called a gray color. Let's just say that I want the background to be white I could do the ASCII code or hexadecimal code rather sorry for this particular page and then when I make changes to my code I click this button that says submit and you'll see I've got the white background I could use a an actual name for my color instead of using the hexadecimal code let's say I wanted the background to be green and I can click submit there's a tendency to want to hit enter and that just splits your code up but just hit submit and you can see how the page will change. If I were to misspell the word, let's say I were to spell the word red with two D's by accident and I click submit, it won't understand what to do. It may try to do something, it's very forgiving, but it won't do what you want it to do correctly. Now this is just an idea of how to work with this page and get an idea of how it works. I'll change this back to the red color and submit it and give you an idea. Now what I'm wanting you to do in these exercises is to just try a couple of things for me. I want you to, I will be giving you a list of files that are associated with your first chapter in CSS and it may look something like this. Now again, those of you who are exact words, exact page kind of people, try to be forgiving with this when I'm dealing with multiple classes, multiple individuals and multiple learning styles. I will be giving you a series of web pages that are associated with your chapter and I want you to try a couple of these out. For example, let's just say that I wanted to use the one called embed. Well, better still, let's make a simpler one. Let's say I want to do the one called inline style. I'll choose inline right here. And I can double click this file and it will automatically go to a web browser. Mine's defaulted right now to Internet Explorer and that's the way the page will look. If I were to right click anywhere on this page, I can go about two thirds of the way down to something called View Source. And it will give me a list of the code, which hopefully looks a little bit familiar to you now, at least most of it, in the course so far. I can select all of it, 
Control A will select everything, and I hope you know this from your CIS 110 days. Control A will select everything, and then I'm going to copy it. You can do Control C or right click and choose Copy. And I'm going to close this and go back to my w3schools.com example. And what I'm going to do here is just select all this code, and you can either delete it or you can hit the word paste and it will delete this code and paste the other code out there at the same time. So there's the code that I just copied from that file called embed and I'm, again I'm wanting you to see what I did right here. I just took the code, I took this particular file called inline and I found the code from it and I just copied and pasted it over here on the W3 schools area. Let me close this out for you so it's not confusing. And then if I submit this code, it will update and it will give me that page. Now what I would like for you to do is to play around with this. For example, in particular, just to understand how this particular kind of code works, and I know some of you will be a member of the Get Her Done crowd just to get the grade to just get the assignment out of the way because of your lives being busy and hectic and stressful. But if you're going to get into any serious web designing, you need to learn how to do this and not just do the assignment for the sake of doing it because out in the market world, you're going to have to learn how to do it. Let's say I want to change the background color to blue right here. Now this is going to apply because it says body. It's going to apply to the body or the 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 main part, all of the program that you see. If I want the body style background color, let's say I want the color background color to be blue, and I'm just using, I can use the codes, but I'm just using the words to make it easier for this video. And let's say I want this to be green. I'll click Submit, and notice the changes that I have right here. I'm going to change that color right now, the color being the text color. I'm going to change that to black, Submit again, just to make it a little bit easier to read. Now, if I were looking at the H1 heading, which is the one that says inline CSS, let's say I want the background color there to be white, and I want the main color to be red, the color red. Normally, the whole body of the document is going to be blue with black letters. In this case, though, the H1 style is going to override it. I'm just wanting you to experiment with this with a couple of these programs and just see how they work. And then once you get this result, I'd like for you to do a screen capture with whatever software you use to do your screen capture. Most of you are probably using the snippet tool. And I want you to take what you've got right here and then save it and send it to me. And sorry for the loud noise, I'm just eliminating mine for right now. Let's do another one. I'm going to go to that list of files that I will send you and you'll have to unzip them. And I'll have to find them where I put them. I think I closed them just a second ago. Mine will not be the same at the same place as yours because you have a different computer from what I do. Let's say you want to look at the one that is called uh, let's try embed. I will open that up, choose to view source. I'm just right clicking on the web page, view source select all that code and copy it. Now go back to my W3 Schools Try It Yourself example and I'm getting rid of all this code and I'm going to paste it right there. Now nothing's changed because the, the site doesn't know that I have put some new code in there. So I click Submit and there are my changes. This is an example and again you may not understand the code right now but hopefully by doing my worksheet exercises and looking through the chapter you'll understand this better. This is something, this particular concept of CSS is something you've got to learn if you're going to succeed with the rest of the course. And I will give you as many examples, as much help, as much feedback as you need as long as it will help you out. And again, once I want you to play with this. Now you could easily just load this in here, run it, and just send it to me, but I'm not sure that you'll necessarily learn anything. I have to leave the learning up to the students individual. Do you care more about the learning? Do you care more about the grade? 
Do you not care about either one? I'm just being very honest with you here. If you have any questions on what to do, please let me know. Again, what you're doing is taking one or two of these programs and playing with the code. I encourage you to experiment with it. Now make sure you know what you're doing. For example, once again, if you were to type the background color right here and you spelled the word gray, G-R-A-A-A-Y, and hit submit, it's going to default to white because it doesn't know what it means. Where if I use the word gray and spelled it correctly, I might see a little difference. Or if I change the background color to light blue, it may or may not understand what I mean. You, you can also play with the little hexadecimal codes that are in your book. For example, if I do this one, and I just happen to know some of the ASCII codes, I keep saying ASCII code, some of the decimal codes that are that are involved right here, the hexadecimal. And just play with some of these and see if you get a, a good feel of what's going on. And once you have experimented with it, do a capture for me and send it to me. It should be a very easy exercise for you, but if you have any questions, of course, please let me know, and I'll be glad to help you out.